Hey everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the Faith WordPress theme. You will learn how to set up your homepage to look just like the theme demo and I will explain the theme's features and settings. Ready to get started? Let's go! This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5 and version 1.1.0 of the Faith theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free Faith theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the add new link and search for Faith in the search field. Hover the theme and click the install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If your WordPress website is new and has no content, this is what the homepage will look like right after activating the theme. WordPress automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars, but I recommend that you remove all of those default widgets. Now let's look at the themes demo and see what content is displayed on the home page. After that I will show you how to set up every part of it. In the header we have a website logo, the primary menu and a widgetized area. The first section on the home page is a slideshow of featured pages. It can display up to 5 pages. Next comes a section that is divided into two widgetized areas. Next comes a section that allows you to feature up to 5 of your most important pages. Then comes the recent posts section with the main sidebar to the left. And finally the website's footer, which is divided into 5 widgetized columns of equal width. Now let's look at every section separately and see how to set everything up. To upload a website logo, go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity tab. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, let's click the skip cropping button. The Faith theme has a single menu location in the header of the website. The slideshow on the homepage can display up to 5 pages, not blog posts. Go to the Customize page Open the Theme Settings panel and then the Featured Content panel. Enable the slideshow and choose the pages that you want in the slideshow. While you're here, you can set up the other Featured Pages section. You can have the same pages or a different set of pages, it is up to you. Make sure that the section is enabled and then choose your pages. If you choose to display 4 or 5 pages, I recommend that you hide the page excerpts. Your pages should have featured images, otherwise thumbnails will not be displayed. As an example, let's create a new page and display it in this section. The Welcome to Our Church is a standard text widget placed in the homepage left column widgetized area.
the Church News list of posts is a standard Recent Posts widget placed in the Homepage Right column widgetized area. Of course, you can use different widgets in both areas, or no widgets at all. In that case, this section will simply disappear. Now let's look at all the other theme features and settings. The structure of a header can use a two columns layout or a centered layout. If you want to use a wide logo or you have many links in your menu, the centered layout might work better for you. You can also control the appearance of featured images inside of posts and pages. The dynamic menu is a cool little feature that I really like. When you have pages with multiple child pages, a menu is automatically generated in the sidebar. This menu makes it easier to navigate from one sibling page to another. I think this is great for user experience. You can display or hide the offer's gravatar inside posts. To add a special looking menu item to the menu, you simply have to add the menu special CSS class to a link. If you don't know how to do this, I have a separate video about creating and using menus. If you are new to WordPress, I suggest that you watch that video. And finally, this theme comes with some basic color customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Colors panel. You can change some of the basic colors in the theme directly from this panel. For example, you can change the color for the backgrounds, for links and text. If you would like to make extensive changes to the look of the theme, then custom CSS will be required. I have a video about this topic on the channel. If you have more questions, you can find some useful information on the themes page in the appearance section. From here, you can easily access the themes community support forum on wordpress.org, send a direct message to the developer or even make a donation. And that's all for today's video. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.